Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. This is Chris Loves Lux and this is the third video in regards to packing that I have filmed today, okay? If you have already seen it, if you haven't, you can go watch it again or see it for the first time where I did a packing video and I'm gonna put it, I think it'll be here, up in the cards where I packed my fragrances for my upcoming trip. So check that video out if you haven't, see how I pack them and how I decant my fragrances in order to take them, even if it's just in my purse, okay? This particular video, we're gonna talk about my carry-on, not both of them, not my rolling carry-on. I'll talk about that, I'm not gonna show that to you, but what I will do is I'm gonna show you my tote that I carry on the plane and this is the one that I keep, you know, under the scene in front of me, if there is a scene in front of me. Um, and then talk about the pros and the cons, if there are any to any of the things that I'm carrying or having a carry on it as a whole. Cause a lot of people don't even want to carry on. They just take a personal item, right? But anyway, if you're new here, even if you're not hi, welcome again, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I want to get this kind of content out because you know, sometimes people, you, we need to share the things that we may not be thinking about say oh i never thought about that or i never thought about taking that you know so it's good to know what people carry on planes or take to vet on vacation so anyway i hope you find this helpful um i've already filmed a a, a makeup one that's part one of well really part one i guess you would say was a fragrance but anyway today was a makeup one i just filmed my my skincare that i've packed and now this one is really my carry-on so um when i carry things on a plane right there's two things i have a personal item that's always a tote and then i have a carry-on luggage piece if you can cat when you carry on something carry on in your bag even if it used to tote you need um to have travel size toiletries in there so you could brush your teeth wash your face wash your booty everything else at the hotel i don't you like using hotel soap so i always have to have my own soap and then um you need a change of clothes you need underwear all of that for me i i pack as much as i can in that in that suitcase and nothing that is worth any value gets checked so all designer items all of that put that in that ch in that carry-on if you can or the carry-on luggage so that's that's me speaking my piece, okay? So in my in my carry-on luggage, I have three bathing suits, three cover-ups, two dresses, no, three dresses, underwear. I think I got like five pair of underwear in there, uh, you know, a bra, um, and then two pairs of flip-flops and three sandals. Uh, it's a lot of stuff in there because, you know, if you know how to pack right, use packing cubes, you're going to be okay, all right? That's my... That's my educational traveler tip, right? When you are preparing to fly, okay? Do not put everything you need in one bag. That's literally all your eggs in one basket. Okay, let me keep going. So, I use, now I use, before I was using, any tote will do. I have the uh ysl what is it vive de rouge or whatever it's called tote i'll stick a picture right here if i remember but i have that i've used that but it's it's tan and, and it gets dirty so i have my never full this is the gm version it is literally never full if i show you everything in here you'll be like holy cow now does not again it doesn't have to be lv okay just let me put that out there i'm an lv fan so that's why a lot of the stuff you're going to see that I have stuff in, it's sets. Like I buy sets of things. So so you're going to see that. But anywho, that's not important. What's in the bag? In my opinion, you should, if you are a reader, meaning books, right? I don't always read electronic books because they are bad for your eyes. And I like the feel of a book, right? So I always purchase a new book when I'm going on vacation. And this is the one I happen to purchase um, extreme ownership how US Navy SEALs lead lead and win so um, this this is probably everybody's like you're going away and you're not reading a trashy novel yeah I got that one too but that's an electronic version this one right here though I, I'm going to want 
to make notes on the margins and things of that nature because I do believe in in continuing your education through reading when you can, right? And a lot of times I'm so busy with work or school, right, that I'm reading for school, right? That I'm not reading to make myself a better leader at work. So I do use vacation to do that. So I purchased this book from Amazon so that I can start reading it on a plane. I'll also, it's like a four hour flight, four hour, 15 minute flight. So I'll watch one movie, probably read the book and then we'll be there, right? So that's the book. If you read a book and I just like the feel of hardcover, Make sure you have something on the plane, for the plane. Now, I also have my agenda. Now, my agenda goes everywhere, right? I have a desk agenda. That thing is too big. Um, I, I love it, but it's just big. So it's very difficult to carry it in every, anything. And then it doesn't have a latch, so things fall out. It's a mess. But anyway, I have this here. Oh, forgive my prescriptions. Let me cover that. But I have... You know all my stuff here my pen and then i can make notes you know one thing about when i'm on a plane i can think because i'm staying still i'm not the one driving the flying the plane so i need to stay still have a drink you know read a little if i think about something i could jot it down in my agenda like so this agenda really literally needs to stay with me um i am not always great at putting everything in there my my calendar well, my daughter's calendar syncs with mine. So when she puts something on her calendar, it hits mine. So if she wants me to remember something, she'll put it in her calendar. It syncs to mine. So it's on my phone and then my phone will send me a notification. But I still, when she does that, I still tend to want to write it in here so that I can remember it, hopefully. Okay, but that's the agenda. Um, my iPad mini. Um, I have to charge it. So I always prepare, prepare your devices, not only charging. What do I mean by prepare? If you have subscription services like Netflix, Hulu, etc., you can download your movies of choice or if you want to watch a whole series, download them as long as you're on Wi-Fi, download them to your device so that when you are on the plane, say you don't like their movie selection, you can go ahead and watch your own device. Also, you can download your movies, magazines, etc., and then you can use your device. So that's my device. Two pairs of sunglasses. Um, I do not check my sunglasses in the bag, and I don't have that fancy thing that is all over um, YouTube about carrier sunglasses because they really don't fit oversized sunglasses so the two i'm taking on vacation this time are one my th these are one a pair of my gucci ones so i'm taking these these are on the lighter side because i do have a lot of colorful um and i can see through them they're not super duper dark like some of my other glasses are so i keep my glasses in here so i'm taking that one then my top four glasses always have this huge, huge, huge glass case. But I am taking these top fours. And these are dark. Right? So I'm taking these. I'm trying to make sure they don't jump up. But anyway. So these are the only two I'm taking. I might take my Ray-Bans because my Ray-Bans are um, prescription. These are not. Um, next. Next. I have my wallet and my, I might not take my coin purse because um, there's really no reason for coins. So actually, let me take that out now. But my wallet, this comes with me everywhere. Obviously, it's my wallet. Uh, house keys. So I sometimes travel with my house keys and sometimes I don't, right? Um, if I know somebody's going to be home, but uh, I don't travel with my house keys because I don't know. I, I don't know why. I just got to think about traveling with my house keys. But nobody will be home when I, you know. Oh, well, yes, they will. But anyway, I travel with my house keys sometimes. Sometimes I don't. But this is my six ring key holder. It doesn't just have my house keys. It has house keys to friends and family. So that's another reason why I don't like to travel with this one. But I am traveling with it this time. Uh... 
pill case. I've had this for years. You can get this at Amazon or you can get it from TJ Maxx. This is a Kate Spade. No, Izzy Miyake. One from Tarp. Uh -uh. TJ Maxx. I've already filled it with my, my pills and allergy meds. And then all these right here, I have a, uh, like a Tylenol. And then I have some Motrin here in case I get a headache or anything like that. So instead of taking your whole pill case, I just put it in here. It saves a lot of room. Of course, your passports. This is my daughter's. She don't have no cover. <laughs> she ain't getting this one. And this is my passport. Of course, you need that. Of course, you need your, if you're vaccinated, your vaccination cards help. Um, I'm a gum chewer. So I have three different flavors of gum. Great for ear, when your ears need to pop on a plane. But honestly, I just chew gum anyway. So I bring three flavors. So that's that. This comes with the bag. This is a little pochette that comes in the bag. What I keep in here, you see all these envelopes. These all envelopes have different denominations of US cash for tips. So for instance, um, this bag here, you see I have, it says uh, 10 times five, 10, $10, five $10 bills. Then I have ones. I have fives, I have twenties, etc. I put that in here just until I, because this attaches to the inside of my bag. So I will attach this to the inside of my bag so it cannot walk away. But when I get to my destination and it has a safe, I take all the envelopes out, put them in a safe. And then as I need them throughout the week, I will take little bits of cash out. And that's strictly for tips because it is an all-inclusive resort. But I put it in here, and the reason why I put it in here is because this is the most secure thing that I have attached to my bag. Because this right here will attach to the inside of the bag, or I can attach it to the loop itself, and it won't go anywhere. Very, very important. In addition to that, once I empty this out and put everything in a safe, this can become a clutch for anything. If I'm going anywhere and I just want to grab something, I don't need my wallet while I'm on the the uh, grounds of the resort so I literally can just put odds and ends in here and just walk over with this if I wanted to okay this big thing you can use for anything this is a toiletry case but in here I have miscellaneous items it's not too heavy right now it's not stuck because I still have some last minute items that I'm gonna have to put in here but just really quick to go through what's in what's in here um hair clips these are ones that I'm gonna be using you know if I'm putting my makeup on right here I, I want to pin something up so I have two of these in here I have a box of COVID tests y'all safety over everything right so this is five in this box right here why you don't i don't need it to go in the country or come back in the country but if anybody to like if my daughter starts not feeling well or if i start feeling well it's safety i want not just to protect myself but other people i bring them do i intend on using them no you know i shouldn't need to but just in case somebody like oh i got a tickle in my throat nope that's why let me let me test you or let me test myself you know so definitely taking that um i febreze things because sometimes mm, you know pillows it might have a little stench i mean i bring my own pillowcase to satin one but still I, I i bring febreze and this is a brand new bottle i went to target and got um in here because it's an oil i didn't put it anywhere else it's my olaplex bonding oil um I might put it inside it with the rest of my Olaplex shampoo and stuff, but for right now, it's in here. Then I have all of these. This is a must, right? First of all, I use these to clean down the plane. They give you one little square. That ain't enough. I bring my own Clorox wipes. I Clorox things down. That's who I am. That ain't changing. I'm Cloroxing. We Clorox, even pre-pandemic, we Clorox. So... This, this wasn't new for us when the pandemic hit. We Clorox the seats. When I get to the hotel, I have a big one in my check luggage with, you know, the big tube one. And I will re-clean the bathroom and the high touch areas of it. I have a little mini spray. You'll see it in another bag. That's, that's what I use. So anyway, that's that. 
Flushable wipes, extremely important. Why? Because females, females, ladies, ladies, flushable wipes, you don't need a lot. You just need one, right? Unless you, you, this is a messy day. Um, flushable wipes are very important because what will happen is you may need to freshen up coming off the plane or you know, you just may find a need where you need to wipe it very well and you might need a little moisture. This is flushable wipes, very important. And then of course, hand and face wipes, wet ones. You know, you can't Clorox your hands, but you can definitely use a wet one if you need to, to sanitize. And um, really that's all that's in here. And then on this side, there are a ton of emergency C's that um you know you could take in the morning as a as a immune booster so i will be taking them in the morning and so will my kid uh before we start our day and why i have this in here i don't know but this is a big old band-aid with clear tape like a waterproof one in case somebody scrapes something or whatever yo I, i'm all about in case somebody does something you know that's just the mom in me i'm gonna say how many moms watching you have a lot of just just in case items that you travel with because you just never know what's gonna happen when it's gonna happen and then you're gonna wish you had something and you don't have it and then it's just it's not a good look so that's what i have in here again i'm gonna put some more items in here oops later on the next thing i have this can, this goes in every bag, right? So because I'm not taking a purse, only the tote, this I took out of my purse and put in my tote. And this is my mini pochette. I carry everything in the world in this little bag and you'll be surprised how much fits in this bag and it wears so well. First we have our, uh, um, what do you call this? Hand cream, hand sanitizer. I have an aqua four lippy. Um, I have Chanel lip balm in the shade Natural Charm. So this came out, if you guys remember, it just came out recently. So that's natural. It's a, it's a nice little, just throw it on my lips type thing. Uh, I have a Pat McGrath. Uh, lip gloss and flesh fantasy wow I have a lot in here y'all even at the bottom stuff I didn't even know I had I have a pen in here because you always need a pen um, the Chanel duo in caramel intense caramel I have <laughs> a, a lip liner that's I just broke off the cap by accident. So I have a ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF3. That's in there. Oh, the Powerball ticket is supposed to come out. <laughs> uh, I have some, some ready cash. This is for the airport in case my daughter needs something or wants something. So I just have cash in there. I always have a few dollars in here. Um... I keep Benadryl for emergencies. Uh, we have, I sometimes I get back aches and things of that nature. So this is the like cold therapy gel. You know what I mean? Like icy hot type of thing. So I have that. I have a Tide, Tide to go wipe. But this is so old in here. Is I, I'm gonna take this one out because I actually have something else in another bag. And then I have a shout wipe, y'all. Spot removers. Okay. I have a little thing at Advil. Um. I have band aids. I have band aids, band aids, band aids. And then I have another emergency in here, and that's everything in there. I know it's a lot in here y'all I recognize that but everything in here you know and I'm just dropping it all in here as you can see I can put everything 
right back in here where it was and you're gonna see it get filled back up as long as you oh I forgot about this a cherry and acid and just when you do this you just have to be mindful of expiration dates you know for certain medicines that you may have then I'm gonna drop my my uh, what do you call this hand <laughs> cream in there then my uh, Purell my aqua four and the money which will go right on the side over here whoops there you go and then that's it and honestly it's not even you can tell see it's not even that full so that's that one now I have another one in another print this one is really for electronic cords so like I have a cord in there now and I have my recharge my uh, rechargeable hand fan right so this is really for if I get hot anywhere I'm sitting because y'all I'm at that age where I can get hot easily and all I do is turn it on and it feels good and then just close it back so I've already charged it I leave that in here and then my iPhone charger, my my uh, Apple Watch charger, everything will go in here, and then my chargers will be in here. It's almost empty, y'all. It's just one more thing in here. These, this is, this is a, another pouch that has a, more necessities in it. Um, I'm all about ensuring that if something happens, I'm covered, right? Um, so in here you see other items so i have a small tiny tiny laneige lip sleeping mask i have this is what uh this is hand wash and sink so these are like two three packs of little tie droplets you drop it in the sink with water and it suds up and you can hand wash whether it's underwear, a t-shirt, something, not a whole load of wash, but just something that let's say you just say, oh, I need to wash this right away. You have this. So this comes with me. Um, and this is new to me. I haven't tried this before. I was just looking for something that was similar to like a Tide pen, but I wanted to do the whole thing. So instead of, I have a Tide pen in here, which I'll show you, it's right here. But you know, this is really for spot cleaning this is to clean like a whole item a whole garment or something okay i also have this you don't leave home without this this is a lysol this is a travel lysol and it's full and i will spray high touch areas in the room like the door handle the light switches the remote stuff like that i can spray with this if i need to uh because everybody even though housekeeping is key is house is cleaning that don't mean they really deep cleaning away you know and in these times you need to be real extra with it um i also have a, to a charmin toilet cover seats these are to go toilet cover seats because you never know when you really really gotta go and you gotta sit you know because maybe your balance is off it's turbulence on the plane who knows yeah um don't sit on that seat mm -mm. no no ma'am we don't do that so what we do is you bring a you bring a toilet seat cover Somebody nicks, trips, gets in an accident is something you always need Neosporin, okay? In case the wound is open. Another hand sanitizer, cause who, you never have enough of that. Um, Tums, important, you know, you might eat something that's, you know, I'm not eating the plain food because they already sent the meal and I was like, I ain't eating that. But you know, you never know when you, you know, might be having a little heartburn, a little indigestion, you need um, Tums. I'm still not that's just what was right here y'all um my Janie stick this is a lifesaver I just learned about this stick this um uh AI the great Aisha from AI the great had put me on to it I'll link her channel down below 
she had put me put us all onto it when she was having one of her videos i forgot what the name of the video was but basically this is like a chalk but it's like dry baby powder to be quite honest because it has the same effect putting baby powder on your clothes would when you have an oil stain or something and you don't want it to mess your clothes up you want to get it out and dry it out before it really permanently stains you put that on there and then on the other end after a few minutes you use that brush to clean it to like brush the powder off in your spot either if it doesn't go away it will the the when you go to get it dry cleaned or when you wash it you will see that the stain isn't there most of the time so dry spot cleaner this is the Janie Jo and it's on Amazon I'll link it below but it's it's extremely important of course oh, a pack of Kleenex okay because where else you gonna sneeze in hmm I can tell you what I've seen people sneeze in but we're not gonna go there have some tissue y'all then I have another hand cream which is I use a lot of apparently because I see the back is kind of on the lean but I have more hand cream and then I have too many fragrances because I always keep them in my bag so this one as you could tell I've already got a dent in but this one is the MFK Aqua Essentia this one is the Jo Malone Blush and Peony Suede or Peony and Blush Suede that's that one and that's everything inside but let's go over what I have over here on the side so I have over here on the side two more emergency um, packets I have a lot more <laughs> band-aids I must really think somebody gonna fall y'all with all these band-aids but anyway I have two more packs of Benadryl a, a gauze I also have Imodiums because you never know when something may not agree with you in a different way. Imodium AD. And I have one throat lozenge. This is kind of like one of those icy ones just in case somebody has a really bad throat. You can use it. I don't foresee that being needed. So really y'all, that's all I have in, in my bag, right? I mean, it's a lot right this is a lot and then I'm not even full it's, it, it wasn't even full because I still want to put my denim jacket on top of everything right but that's what I take on the plane it is a lot of stuff inside of the bag but literally I can't think of anything that I would need right that's not already in there so let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are about uh what I packed um anything shocking um let me know down in the comments anything you didn't think you needed but now you you know you need let me know down in the comments let's chit chat what do you guys carry on a plane what do you find as most effective or efficient thing for you to have do you think this is overkill for me i'm a planner everything has to be in its place or I lose it right so that's just me but let me know down in the comments I hope everyone is doing well hope you like this series of pack with me uh, videos that I just dropped back to back uh, don't forget to say hi in the comments share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and be safe stay healthy stay tuned I'll see you in the next video bye guys